concept, message, lyrics, beat, video. Watch how music is dissected and its elements analyzed. It's talk like never before. I don't like the song. I like the song. Fantastic. All right, my name is Patrick Ellis. I'm a music video director. And I think directing for me is to direct picture, character, mood, and lighting. And I want to say shout out to everybody to support my job. So I would say, keep hearing your views on your favorite tunes, on views and tunes. Shout out. Not too long ago, the Coco Master gave us Mr. and Dowd, and we parted like it's 99. This I see if that wasn't enough, he came back with Mr. and Dowd, but this time it's the remix with the dog father himself, Snoop D O Double G. Now with Snoop on it, what's the concept behind the song? What he do? Talking about being powerful. Oh yeah, Mr. Endow's remix is a very nice song. It's a fantastic song. It's talking about mainly telling us about the band being endowed, like money and body. No, I don't think the band is flaunting his money. The thing is, the band is an entertainer, so he can flaunt anything, he can flaunt anyhow. No, no, it's normal for you to appreciate what God has done for you. Maybe that's his own way of saying his own appreciation. That is endowed by everything. Like I listen to it like almost every day. It's very, 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 very nice. This song is not talking about it. like it's just for fun. It's just talking about as in what it feels about the girls. Oh my baby, let me love you down. I just think he's trying to say about himself that he's endowed, maybe blessed or something. What I feel is just trying to pass across is that okay, like I'm connected, okay, money and all, okay, I'm endowed in all and everything. Even in my songs, I'm endowed and... Well, I think he was talking about, you know, like, he's so endowed, he's so mounted. He has what it takes, the money, everything, sha, to, like, do a song to foreign artists, and artists like Snoop. I don't think he's trying to tell us he has a lot of money. I think he's trying to say Nigeria music is going into the international industry. Break the bank, take the girl, travel all around the world. This is life, no, this is love. Have a drink, now live it up. He was just trying to tell other artists that when you are big, you are big. I'm bigger than all of you. My level is international. For him to have Snoop on his song, he's trying to tell other musicians that he can feature big artists from other countries in his songs to show them that he's better than them. No, no, no. He has already done the first one, he didn't bring Snoop Dogg or anybody. The second one, he just brought Snoop Dogg to show that Nigerian entertainment music is really growing. When you do one thing at the, at the end of the day and you find out that uh, it is trying to cook on something, then you try to snoop on some other things. And that's why they now invited Snoop to snoop into what actually get them to relate them with whatever you call this man, Kanye West. So he's trying to snoop the better part of music at the end of the day. I would say musically, I prefer the first one. The first one, he was talking about himself, like his endowed, his rich, you know, like a kind of every girl's dream. As a matter of fact, from the first song, we know Mr. Endowed as trying to prove himself in what people actually try to portray between him and the actress Genevieve. Hey. Hey. Who 
called your phone? Which phone? Some chick just called your phone. What in the Please. Nobody. I don't know anybody. Mm. What are you doing now? Now? Why are you doing? Don't get it twisted. Love is a beautiful thing. If a man is endowed under, because especially when a woman is trying to say that you are not my type, then you can tell the world that look, that woman is lying because I am endowed. Oh. I'd like to let you know, listen to people, take their advice, take their opinion, but do not let them decide who you should be or what you should be in life. The people told me DJing is not anything in life and I stuck to it with it. I listened to advice, you know, but I'm a DJ today because I did not let people discourage me from being that. I am cool DJ Jimmy Jack. So keep hearing your views on your favorite tunes views in terms keep watching break the bank take the girl travel all around the world but if you look at the second one the international appeal having a snoop dog on your song it's not it's not easy something at all for me i think the hype on the second one was off the hook no that's what class Mr. Mr. Endow, the remix had massive recognition, even internationally. With Snoop on this, would you say they got it right with the lyrics? The lyrics of the remix. Does really, really make sense in this country? Question, tell me what you think about me. The lyrics of this song is very commercial. To me, the band, the band doesn't need lyrics. The band can just sing it anyhow. It's an entertainer, so it's just it's always rhyme. Each music possesses different titles, and to such title, you have to write different lyrics and different things about them. Okay. okay. Well, there are lots of repetitions in the lyrics, but I'm saying um, and I like the band. I just like him like that. The lyrics good, good lyrics, feel good, club, banger. Huh? I just think everything about the song is cool. Okay, the first um, endowed, you know, the one he did himself and all that, that was, you know, lovely, that was nice. But I think when he now features Snoop, maybe when he was with Snoop, he got intimidated and missed his lines. I prefer the lyrics of, like, still saying the lyrics of the first one, then I was expecting more. The lyrics were still okay. Probably. I have an over expectation. No, people don't know the lyrics, that's why. I know the lyrics. The band is talking about enemies that um, they think it can't go so far. I'm talking about all these girls. He's talking about the girls that he has any, everything that he wants in him. He has the money, he has the intellect. We've had so many from the band, and uh, the band understood the type of people he's dealing with in Nigeria that they just like the rhythm, not the lyrics. It's not really about the message, yeah. It's about the composure, the way they mix the sounds.